This is our 63 Studebaker Champ pickup. So this video will cover a few different things. First off, there will be a very slow paced walk around of the car. And then following that, there will be close ups of each of the blemishes as well as some shots of the interior. So we purchased the truck from a long term owner in North Dakota. Um, we had actually bought a 63 Riviera from the guy and then he offered us this truck as well and we thought it was too cool to not pick up. So it had been sitting for about 15 years. Um, as it sits right now, uh, it runs pretty well. It needs tires straight away because they're obviously dry rotted and older. Um, it's got quite a few little cosmetic blemishes, but uh, it's a very cool truck. Uh, we took the first steps into getting it to be a sweet driver. We drained the fuel tank, changed the filter, uh, changed the plugs. So as of right now, it runs and drives. It's a cool truck. It just you know isn't quite ready to be a daily driver yet. But it's a very original truck. Uh, it's got the correct motor in it. Uh, it is a 259 V8. Uh, Three-speed manual on the column. Uh, shifts very well, nice and smooth, which we love. It does have the long bed on it. Uh, fairly desirable for you know being a work truck. Uh, the bed itself is in nice shape. There's some surface rust down there, but you know nothing significant. No major dings or anything like that. Um, it's a pretty pretty honest truck. Uh, the white bumpers we did repaint because they were you know had some surface on them, but um, yeah, those are now painted. Uh, the steel wheels show some oxidation around the outside corners. The polished hubcaps are in nice shape though. Uh, you can see down along the bottom right there one of the more major blemishes on the car. Uh, it's a you know a pretty long scratch as well as some faded paint. Uh, there is a marking on the passenger window that's permanent. You see that kind of dirt spot down there on the bottom. It's more of a scratch in person. Chrome trim all presents nicely. Nothing more than some very minor dings on it. Throughout pretty nice. So here are close-ups of the blemishes. Uh, quite a few nicks on the hood there. Uh, more so chips than dents. Um, then the scratches on the door and then if you get down and take a look at the uh, rockers actually in pretty nice shape nice and dry on this car uh, being from North Dakota it you know hasn't really seen a ton of salt or weather and then you can see here um, in direct sunlight it's fairly visible it looks like the car maybe had flares on it or something at one point uh, so there's some marks there around the wheel well a little crack there and then there is the bottom of the door on the driver's side. Not too bubbly, but not quite pretty. Another good scratch. Now it's a, you know, it's a classic truck. Dash presents well. Uh, Ford radio is not functional. Um, that is a seat cover. Uh, you can see just the corner of the original tan seats. Um, haven't pulled the cover off. It's rigged on there pretty good. Have to imagine they're pretty torn up. Uh, no carpets or floor mats. Um, just bare floors. The gauges are functional with the exception of the odometer. Now here is a uh, walkthrough of the underbody. You know, some pretty superficial surface rust, but uh, it's pretty solid. Frame rails are obviously very nice. No evidence of any major leaks 